Boxing King Media in association with Boxro, Hosea Burton making a comeback at Cruiserweight, a bigger weight. Um, one of the first things I want to clarify, so Joe's not here, can I just confirm you are still training with Joe Gallagher? Yes, I am training with Joe Gallagher. The reason he's not here at the moment is we've got Paul Butler fighting for the undisputed, whatever weight he is. Uh, lightweight, is it? Or, no, uh, no, no, uh, ban bantamweight. Right, he's fighting the, the Mue. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's got more important things to do than to be here at press conferences. You know, Paul's... Uh, got the biggest fight in, of his career at the moment so I can understand it How much a part did Joe play in you deciding to move move up to uh, Cruiserweight? Joe told me years ago I should move up um, but it's just is what it is, it's, it's 25 pound jump from light heavyweight to Cruiserweight so I was always hesitant about it and I always, uh, I always thought the opportunity at light heavyweight would have come quicker so now I'm Cruiserweight I'm feeling good for it, I should have done it years ago Obviously, it was a heavy loss, uh, the one that you had last time. Um, how difficult was it to take take that and accept that? Um, you say a heavy loss. It, 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 you, know, you know the man manner yeah, of the loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got stopped. Um, Dan Aziz was way too good for me on the night, which I never thought in my wildest dream that that he would have been too good for me on the night. But it is what it is. I just couldn't make the weight no more. Not, not trying to make excuses, but I just wasn't me. I never won a sparring session in six weeks prior to that fight, you know, but I thought it'll come right on the night, and obviously it never. I actually gave up boxing after that, I said, that'll do, I've had enough. But I know that I was only cheating myself. That, that was going to be one of my questions, whether you considered doing that. Um, what, what is uh, uh, the plan for Hazai Bet? And obviously there's a lot of good fights at Cruiserweight. There's a lot of good fighters there. Is there any particular British names that you've got your eye on and thinking you know, after a couple of fights, I'm going for you? Yeah, I, want, I wanted Jack Massey straight away because he had a world title, but now he's got that taken off of him. I don't really want to fight him no more. Um, Mikel Lawau. Lawau, is it? I think I pronounced it right. I'd like to fight him. He's the British champion, you know? I want a big fight, I don't want small fights, you know, I've had enough of small fights in my life, I want to see where I'm at, weigh me out properly, you know, to see, see where I'm at in life, you know, I just want to do it or don't do it, you know, so I, I want to, the biggest fight possible, if I come through that, let's keep going. Just a quick prediction on Chisora Fury Saturday night, what happens? Tyson wins very easily. Um, Chisor, Chisor is a war horse, um, so I, I, I personally think, I think, I think it's going to go six rounds. Isaiah, I look forward to seeing how your career pans out at Cruiserweight. Um, hopefully that power is going to carry up because you're known for that big right hand, so I look forward to your journey. Yes, well, thank you. I should do good, should do good.